course. What's on your mind? Appreciate it. We've been on the road together for a while. And we've taken some hard knocks. But through all that crap, I notice you've always been sticking by me. You know, watching me back and making sure I don't do anything stupid. I think maybe it's time to tell you a little bit about who you're traveling with. There's no reason for us to keep acting like we're strangers. I appreciate your trust. Well, you're the first to earn it. It all starts with two ways of humanity I suppose you could call me parents. I'm convinced I was a mistake, because I can't remember a single moment that they treated me like their daughter. I was yelled at and beaten. Everything I did was wrong. Nothing but a nuisance in their eyes. The whole time I was telling myself that they had to love me, even if it was just the tiniest bit, because they never kicked me out. Then me 18th birthday arrived, and I found out why they kept me around. They slapped a shock collar around me neck and sold me to slavers. They didn't even care enough about me to say goodbye. Eighteen years of suffering through that shite, and all I was worth to them was a pocket full of caps. Why didn't you run away? I tried. Twice. The first time I did it, they locked me in a shed outside of the house we lived in. The second time, they broke one of my legs. My God, I'm so sorry. Thanks. But there is more to the story. It would be easy to blame me charming personality on me parents. But they didn't make me this way. I did. I was with those slavers for five years. Roughest five of me goddamn life. The things they made me do. The way they used me for their amusement. It sickens me to me stomach even thinking about it. But I bided me time and learned to use their own methods against them. Stealing a few caps out of a sleeping man's pocket is a piece of cake. As long as you don't get greedy. I can't believe you tolerated that. I would have killed them all. That's easy for you to say. You weren't there. You have no idea what I went through. It took every ounce of patience I had. But after five years, I had finally pocketed enough to buy me own way out of there. But instead of heading off to try and repair the shambles of me life, I gave in to me rage and I headed home. You can imagine the look on me parents' faces when I kicked open their door. What you can't imagine is what they looked like after. After I emptied me gun into them. You did what you had to do. Did I? When I closed me eyes, all I can see is their faces twisted with fear. And then my mind starts wandering and I start judging myself. And it's ripping me the fuck apart. You think I inject myself with all that shite and drink myself drunk because I'm a tough Irish girl. I do it so I can forget and move on with my miserable life. So there you are. The entire flawed package known as Kate. Stripped bare for your perusal. I'm proud of you. I knew I was taking a chance telling you all this. But I never expected you to say you were proud of me. I... I, I think I needed to hear that from you. Thank you. Hey, it's okay. We're friends. Look at me. Now you have me blushing. Well, that settles it, I suppose. Friends it is, then. Hope I make you a good one. Otherwise, I'm gonna look right the fool, aren't I? I don't mind hoofing it as long as there's some excitement at the end of the road. 